<laughs> guys, we made it to the airport. As you guys probably already know, we were going to the Bahamas. And it's 5 a.m. and Bubby and I didn't sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to another GM Golf video. If you can't already tell, I'm in, I'm not even gonna lie, probably one of the best places on earth, if not the best place I've ever visited. There's not much else to say. I'm in the Bahamas, as you guys probably already know. Today I'm playing the Ocean Golf Club, and honestly, Grant and I played this course yesterday. We played all 18, and I was like, I was just really curious. If I did a beat my record, you know, what would I shoot at this course and uh, see how low I can take it. I think it's a very scorable course. One thing that I noticed yesterday was I was struggling on the greens. I just gotta get that dial in today if I want a chance at shooting a good score. But yeah, it's gonna be a two part series, front nine and then back nine. The biggest factor that I see out here at this course is the wind starts to get pretty aggressive in the afternoon and I'm playing in the afternoon. So if anything, that's what we'll be dealing with today. But anyways, let's get dialed in guys. Let's go to the first tee. We're gonna play the front nine in this video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like. All right, here we go, guys. Hole number one, par four, straight into the breeze. Little dog leg to the left. Got the driver in hand here, guys. Need to put one up the center of the fairway and hopefully get off to a good start. Right there. Yeah, right side of the fairway. Should be good. All right, what's going on, guys? What's up, boys? Here we go, guys. I think I got about 98 yards here in a 58 degree. A little under the breeze. Ah. Come left. A little short right. Not great. A little misjudge there, guys. Short and right. I still got about like 35 feet for the birdie. Played yesterday, we kind of noticed the greens are a little bit tricky. But I have a feeling if I can read them correctly today, I should be able to go pretty low. It's also going to be pretty cool for me because I'm going to be able to see like how I scored today in relationship in relationship to what the t wow in relationship to what the turn of <laughs> in relation to what the guys in the tournament are going to be shooting out here this week. We'll see. Right to left, first part of the day. Unfortunately, just not a great wedge shot in here. Good way to start it off. Decent par. On to hole two, par five. For the White Sands tournament, guys, they actually have the tee box further back than we played yesterday. They had the tips yesterday set at one tee box in front of this. So I'm going to play the tournament tees. Just kind of see how I do. Hole two, dog leg to the right, wind off the right. It's a different hole from back here, let me tell you. I think that actually backspun when it landed in the fairway. Guys, 291 to the green. It's so weird. It like it feels like it's downwind, but it also feels like it's not. Screw it. I'm just gonna hit this pretty full and hope that it's not long or anything. Par five though. Ah, stay out of the bunker. Okay, just short of the bunker. I hit like really down on that. I, always, I, I took a divot with the three wood, but chip to get up and down for birdie. About 40 yards, par five though. 58 degree here to get up and down for bird. I think I've been short every single time on chips and pitches out here. I just cannot get used to that stopping so quick. Let's make it. Ah, 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 
All right, first two holes, prime position, unfortunately, made two below average pars. Those were not great. On to a par three, even par. All right, walking up to the tee box here on hole number three, I was just talking to Ryder behind the camera. I was telling him my first golf coach told me the best way to putt is to not try and make putts. I know that sounds like very weird. If you think about it this way, pick a line and roll it and hope the hole gets in the way. That's been my biggest issue is I've been trying to like almost force the ball into the hole. I just gotta trust my stroke. Just kind of let it happen. I got a pretty full swing eight iron here. Unfortunately, just kind of missed club there. Got an uphill putt for the birdie. We'll take it. All right, here we go, guys. Up the hill. See if we can make our first birdie today. I don't really know where this putt goes. Whoa! Still a little two putt par there. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little nervous over that one. I, I hope I don't have many putts at that range today. Driver in hand, hole number four. This is, Ryder and I were just talking about, this is probably our favorite hole on the course. You got the ocean in the background. It's mainly just about the view. 412 yards here, guys. All right, I was a little stuck on that swing, but it's a good miss. Let's all take a second right now. Just admire the view. Beautiful ocean. Perfect grass. This course is in such good condition too, so. All right, 102 yards here, guys. Got a 54. I'm gonna try and shove it in the door. Proximity to the hole yesterday was definitely better, but we gotta put a birdie. This, this putt, I, I know it's just all about reading it right. Down the hill, left to right. Just gonna try and trust it here. Not complain, especially well. You can't complain with the views you have here, but for the next, just take a quick look at that. I will never get tired of it, guys. I really won't. It's unreal. All right, here we go, guys. On to the fifth hole of the day. Little dog leg to the left, par four. I'm gonna tee up over here and try and rip a cut up the left side. Hey, it's in the fairway, but. Not a great swing at all. 130 yards here into the breeze and a little off the left. It's gonna be an absolute pretty full P wedge here to get it there. Not a great swing, but let's recover. I, I think we can make birdie here. Oh, that flew on me. Ryder, it flew on me. That's like 50 yards long of the green. Yeah, I caught a flyer lie. It was, that was crazy, guys. I did not expect it to, uh, to fly like that. Not ideal. You know, casually about 30 yards long in the green. I did not expect it to fly once again. It was into the breeze, so whatever. I got a 58 degree here. Try again. It's not good there. Let's see if we can knock it in. Not a good hole, folks. Not a good hole. That was an unfortunate bogey, but takes me to one over through five holes. Tackable par five on hole six. Guys, okay, frustrating bogey there. That's not a hole you want to bogey. I mean, 400 yard par four, super easy. But here we go, guys. Par five, straight downwind. I'm going to let this one rip. Maybe the bunker. Not great over there. Hopefully we can uh, put one on the green and maybe make eagle, you never know. 226 in this green here, guys, just in the right rough. So downwind, I think this is playing like 200 yards at most. So I got a six iron and honestly, after the last hole, I'm scared of going long. So would be totally fine being short on this hole. Uh, it's gonna be short, way short. Did not hit that well at all. 
that was a very poor effort at it. You guys obviously didn't hit it too great in here, way short, but this is actually perfect position to make birdie, so I'm not mad by any means at that shot, so. I got a 58 degree here, guys. Let's hope I can get one to the pen because I've been leaving everything short. We gotta find the uh, happy medium. One long, a bunch short. We'll figure it out, guys. Down the hill for the birdie. This will take me back to even par through six holes if I can make it. I'm feeling some type of way about this putt, Ryder. I don't know what it is. Come on. I just, I feel the bottom of the cup right here. Nice. <laughs> hey, I say I'm feeling some type of way and then proceed to hit the worst putt. That I could possibly hit. It was great. Well, anyways, guys, obviously putting is kind of a struggle here, but it's, I'm laughing and smiling right now because, once again, just look at the view right here on hole six. Dude, but we can make it back onto hole seven, par four. Let's get it. All right, guys, on to the seventh hole of the day, and this is one of the most beautiful views that we have out here at this course, the Ocean Club. Look at this. It, the tee box is like nestled back here, almost like built into the ocean or into the beach. It's sick. Guys, gotta get it dialed in. The swing's feeling a little off. Luckily, the ball has been going pretty straight. Hopefully, we can kind of keep it up. This is a pretty tight fairway, so I got a hybrid. 411 yards in the wind. Hopefully, I just give myself maybe 160 yards into this hole. I uh, completely just went under that ball. I uh, really don't know what to say, guys. <sighs> All right, even tougher. This is great. This is this is just great, guys. But this is the beauty of golf. Like you, I was just telling Ryder, you can be playing pretty decent. Like yesterday, I played really well against Grant. The swing felt really good. And then today, it's just like kind of feeling a little all over the place and that's golf and that's the beauty of it but 240 yards here dropping with the same club that I just hit <sighs> see if we can hit a good shot I honestly was scared and I bailed out <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of making a mess of this hole guys if I can make double we'll be all right we'll be three <laughs> over we'll be in attacking position to make what is that Nine more birdies to uh, beat my record. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Guys, we can still make a bogey, and this would be one of my better bogeys. Dropped hit three, hitting four here. My ball is on the car path, took relief. 45 yards. <sighs> just gotta stay focused. In these moments, these are the moments you gotta just stay dialed in. 58 degree here. <laughs> that would have been a heck of a par. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, if that went in, that would have been a beautiful par, guys. All right, in for bogey. We're two over. We got eight and nine. So, hey, anything can happen, guys. I can finish strong. Maybe a couple birdies here. Par three, par four. Let's go. 186 yards here, guys. Down three. I'm trying to think, is it an eight or seven? The wind is very aggressive out here. That's why I'm kind of confused. Like, is this gonna fly or is it not? I'm going with the full eight. I think it'll get there. All right, he got there. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Down the hill for the birdie. This will get me back to one over. Feels good. It's been a grind today. First birdie of the day. Let's go. 443 yard par four here. Got the driver in hand. Dog leg to the left. Hey. Feel like we're kind of saving everything with the swing. It's in play. 
but just in the rough. It stayed in play, but we're scrambling today, guys. We're scrambling. We got 170 yards to the pin, and I have a small gap. So I'm gonna go with the five iron, try and uh, hit a nice cut through this gap. You never know, okay? I mean, I could still make birdie from here. Oh, I'm not gonna lie guys, I played that as good as I could have. About 15 feet short. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, guys, this would uh, take me back to even par if somehow I could make this. Honestly, those are the ones you like, you just have to pick the target and trust it. I feel like I almost got a little bit lucky to get it to here, but let's see if we can make another birdie. Bruh. That was <laughs> one over through nine holes guys stay tuned for part two uh, i'm coming soon on the back nine out here at the ocean club as you guys already know i'm currently one over i'm gonna have to make some birdies if i want to shoot under par obviously but we'll see if we can keep going make a couple birds coming in and uh finish under par get it stay tuned for more content guys stay tuned for part two until next time guys peace out